In Creo Parametric 8.0 and later, there is a command that you will see in drawing mode, but in order to explain that command, I have to show you something in Creo Parametric 7.0. All right, here I am in a drawing and I decide that, oh, on sheet two, I need to add some supplemental information by sketching on the drawing. So I can go to the sketch tab and I decide that I need to create a line. I will click on the line command and you see these crosshairs. I also get a snapping references dialog box. So that will allow me to pick what I want to snap into. I can use the pick icon. I can pick different entities that I want to snap into and it adds it to the list. Then I can hit the middle mouse button and it can start snapping into those different entities as I'm sketching. And this is how sketching was in Creo 7 and earlier. I think it was even back when I first started teaching Pro Engineer 2000 I squared, it was using the same exact tools and they were not great for sketching. But anyhow, that is how you sketch stuff in Creo 7 and earlier. Now let's jump over to more recent days. Now I have the same drawing open in Creo Parametric 11, which is the latest version of Creo at the time that I am creating this video. Once again, I decide that I want to add some additional draft entities to sheet two. So let me flip over to it. I will click on the sketch tab and you'll notice that the ribbon is arranged a little differently. These changes were made in Creo Parametric 8. Let's say I want to create a line. Well, instead of the crosshairs, you can see that we are having some dimensions from some zero reference point. We also have a toolbar that opens up. I can choose what I'm using as my dimensioning base. So for example, I could dimension from here instead and I can start to sketch out a line. I can pause for a second and type in a new value for where I want these different points located and then left mouse click and then create my different entities. Let's make this length of two, angle of 90, and then left click. And so there I have my different entities that I can create. This is the format in Creo 8 and later. I have an update video for 2D detailing in Creo 8 if you want to see more information about that. So anyhow, it was a big shift in how you would sketch different draft entities starting in Creo 8, but there are a whole bunch of people who were very used to the tools. They'd been using Creo Parametric, even Wildfire, even Pro Engineer, and they were very used to the old tools. So let's say that you wanted to use the old tools in one of the newer versions of Creo. To do that, you can go to the Tools tab, and here we have the Applications group, and there are about six different commands that we have in here. And one of the commands that we have here is Legacy Sketch. So I'm gonna click that in a moment. I want you to pay attention to what happens to this tab here that is currently called Sketch. When I click on Legacy Sketch, well, it changes the name of the tab to Legacy Sketch instead of Sketch, and it looks like how it looked in Creo 7 and earlier. Now, when I go to create a line, we get the old snapping references dialog box and the crosshairs, and it's just like how people used to know. Let me close out of here. So that way, if you wanna go back to the old sketching tools, you can do that from the tools tab and the legacy sketch command. If you turn off legacy sketch, well, it goes back to the sketch tab and the current modern tools. So that's how you can use that functionality.